Ooh. All right, guys, I finished off all the sides of the roof, and now we are going to have to go onto the corners. Now, this part here is probably one of the most annoying parts. Like I was talking about at the start with this, it's not as complicated as that was there. It's a little bit more simple, but it is annoying because you do tend to make mistakes and I'm a little bit OCD when it comes to this stuff. I want every corner to be the same, even if like, one was blocked out of place, I'll destroy it and do it again. But the method is straightforward. It just can get a little bit confusing at times. But here's what you do. If you've done the straight parts, like I said, and you've just left the corners, then you go to the start of any corner. Now, I would recommend to do the corners like this. You would do them three, then them three, then them two, them two, like that, like that, like that, and then work your way into the middle. Don't start from there and just go like that. But basically, all you do is you go on the corner and you do your one block like that. You have to follow this pattern, but it's one in. So it won't line up with this, so don't worry with that. But you have to just do the same pattern that is one, two, one, one, two, one. But just starting from there. So there's the one. Then I go up two. Then another one. Then another one. Then another two. Like that. And then another one. All right, don't worry if it doesn't meet up with it. That's perfect. That's how it's meant to be. And same again on the. I oh know. Don't do the next one there. Why is it raining? Let's turn it off. So we've done them three there. Now we're going to go over this side and do this three. So. Oh no, there's the one. Yeah, like this. So it goes up two. Then a one. Is it a one? Yeah. Then another one. Then two, isn't it? Why is yeah, that's right, that's right. Like that. Like that. And see I'm already getting a little bit confused. Like that. So we've done that one and we've done that one. And eventually what you'll notice as we continue this pattern on like that one, then that one, then that one. In that one it will start to join and you can't go any further but I'm gonna show this all on video so you know what to do when you get to them stages if you're building along so you do the one the two the one the one two and then one so I'm gonna do it here again I might speed it up until I get to points where um, they start to join but I think it's going to start on the next one, actually. So the one, two, one, one. Yeah, that's right. Like that. Yeah, they're going to start. No, I've done that wrong. They're going to start joining here. So there you go. It starts to join. So once you've done them two and them two, you're going to start to join. So then what you need to do. And why does it keep changing tonight? I had it set so it doesn't go to night time. Where is it? I have to change my settings, uh, options, control, oh no, options, video settings, day only, yeah, what was it, night time, anyway, so you do them, them two, and them two, so that was the last one I did, so let's start from this one, do the one, do the two, uh, two, one, one, so now I'm getting close to this. So what I need to do, so I've done the one, the two, one, one. Then I'm, I'm going to need to do this two here. So it's going to go like that, one, two, like that. And it just stops there. And that's cool. So now I need to go to this side here, like that. Same pattern. Again, as always, I feel like I'm repeating myself a million times. But then it's going to stop right there. So basically that two there is, is joined up with that two on this one. I hope this is clear to follow because I, even I'm getting a little bit confused. But do the same pattern again, like that, and it joins up, like that, and then just put one there. So that is how you do it for the corners. Now I'm going to stand here for a minute just in case anybody wants to pause and double check it. But you're going to have to repeat this pattern here in all four of these corners. It's a bit tedious so I'm not going to show it on video and again I'm going to cut 
for another 10 minutes for me but a few seconds for you so I'll be right back when I've done the corners alright guys I've finished off the corners now each corner is the same pattern as I showed you before and I did double check to make sure it was so it's that same pattern go up either side it took longer than I thought to and it took about 20 minutes but because I made a mistake on that one but it doesn't really matter but now we're just going to finish off the roof and the roof is you need to put, add a bit of glass around the edge and it's it's a little bit complicated but no I wouldn't say it's complicated actually it's straightforward so what you need to do is get your glass and we're going to leave an opening in the middle so you need to get some glass and from any point of the flat edge of the roof you just need to place out 13 blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen now I need to go off this side it doesn't matter how many I'm just gonna go off like this I'm just gonna stop there and now I'm gonna do 13 on this side so I'm gonna do it a bit closer to this so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And now I'm going to go off this side to make these two meet. Now I know that that's going to be the corner for this edge right here. So I can delete that. And delete that. So I know that's going to be the corner. So I know all this part where I'm flying right now is going to be glass. So that's how you find the corners for each corner, I guess. And then on the, there's going to be a rim on the inside of the glass, which is going to be glowstone as well. It's going to be like that. I'm going to do the other two corners just so you get it, but I'm not going to fill it all in right now. So again, with 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Go off this way, some blocks. And do the same here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, then go off until they join. And you know that's going to be the corner again. And that should be in line with that. Yep, perfectly. And it's going to have a glowstone rim all the way. I'll put, put this rim here just so you know. Like that, and that should they should join up. Yeah. So that square is going to be on the inside. And I'll do the same in that corner, and I'll join that up. And I join that up, and then it should have glass around the outside, and then a glow, one glowstone rim all the way on the inside. <coughs> so I'm gonna fill that roof up with glass now, guys. And again, I'll be right back. All right, back again, guys. We finished off the roof now, and as you can see, I met the corners up like I did on this side with on this side as well. So again, that's just 13 glass blocks coming out and then a glowstone rim all the way around and you just join them up in the corners until they meet and then you get something that looks like that so that is basically the outer shell of the stadium done we've got the walls and we've got the roof and this what I put here is just um, this is where the second floor is going to be so I was just marking it out for myself quick but before we finish the outside and start working on the inside there's a few more things I want to do on the outside and the pillars I just think they look a bit skinny like they need a bit more support so I'm gonna get some I think this is lime green yeah lime wool and I'm just gonna like make the pillars a little bit thicker if some of you don't know this stadium I built this stadium before on the Chaos Craft server because we wanted the stadium this is a long time ago now it must be over a year I wanted a stadium or we we wanted a stadium on there to do play games and stuff like spleef and things like that but this is slightly different like a few modifications it didn't have like these pillars I'm doing now and stuff like that but yeah I'm gonna do that around all these pillars because I think it looks good it just adds uh, oh wow I missed loads of glass it just adds like a uh, the illusion like it's got more support and it's a bit stronger or something like that but after after I finished off these pillars and stuff, I think what we're going to start on next is the stands. I'm not going to do because this stadium is going to have two. It's going to be a two-story stadium. As you walk in, there's going to be like restaurants and stuff where you can eat, and then you go upstairs and you'll be under the stands, and then you walk out into the stadium. That's how it's going to be, and uh, the stadium is going to be on the second story. So I think I'm going to do this the actual stadium with the stands first and then do the the shops and stuff underneath it depends 
what takes longer i think the stands and stuff will be more important than the actual shops so i will do that first just in case this doesn't turn into like a six seven part i don't want that but i think we're doing well so far with all the cuts that i've made but yeah guys, i'm going to finish putting this line wall all all around all these pillars i'm not going to do it in the corner ones because it, it'll look a bit strange because it'll block up the windows and yeah you won't you won't even see it so i'm going to do it on the flat edges all with this line wall and yeah i'm just going to finish that off quick right that's that done let's just fill in these parts here so as you can see i've just thickened the supports out around the edges and it looks good i like it so now that's the outside i'm going to have like a logo there but i'll do that at the very end there's nothing major you can put your own logos there if you're building as well but the floor is going to be on this level here where i put the stone but it's going to be double half slabs again so let me get double half slabs um oh i've got too many items i can do it with that uh, where are they they used to be on there are double half slabs Oh, I can't see him. I'm just being an idiot, probably. Uh, so the floor is going to be on this level, and we're going to have stairs going up. I'm not going to do the stairs yet, but let me try the fill command here. Hopefully this works. Slash fill. I think it's 44, and then do like 50. No, that didn't work. <laughs> Uh, I can't remember the command, but I need to fill this whole area up here with with uh, double half slabs. Let me try again. It says help. Let me just do that. Uh, fill. It is slash fill. Oh, maybe it's just slash fill. Slash fill 4450. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I might have to cut this out, but I'm going to fill in the floor of this so i'll be right back guys all right guys back again <laughs> i've finished the floor the command did work in the end it's just single player commands being a bit buggy but like i told you guys that it's going to be two levels to the stadium this level here is the upper level where the actual stadium and the seats and the arena i guess will be and then the lower level which is down here let me just knock it very quick show you Lower level is going to be oh no, I just destroyed the block. Yeah, lower level is going to be down here. This is going to be like shops and seating area and stuff like that. But there will be stairs like going up so you can get to the upper level. But I think the most important part to do now is probably the stands because that's what actually makes it look like a stadium. Now the stands are not complicated oh by the way i found double half blocks it was there but <clears throat> yeah the stand the stands are not complicated but they're just very repetitive and it gets a little bit confusing again like when you get to the corners like everything on on this build like these corners <laughs> were confusing but yeah on, and the stands are going to be different colors like there's going to be a color going from here to here color in this corner color in that corner color in this corner now i'm going to try and show you building one color and then i will cut out and all the colors will be done because to do it all it'll take forever but first thing you need to do is get your double half slabs and you want to start the stands from the this black line here so underneath the first window i guess so like here that's where you want to start the stands and the stands will come out by three blocks so let me just go over to this corner here try and do it yeah so like that and whenever they hit the center so because because this is double at the front here i know the center is that line there so whenever they hit the center that's when i'm going to change the color so i'm going to do this corner here green then this may be blue and it's going to change all the way around but let me change my game mode oh, and try and do this quickly so if I go up here oh uh, what is it camera zero yeah that's it select that go go to the game mode one so annoying that I've got to keep 
changing game mode. That's why before I had it bound to a key, and I could just press the G key and it would change automatically. So much easier. Oh, sugar, which one did I select? Set 43, let's do that. Right, so cool.